Hello and welcome to Intentful Spaces. Today I am sharing with you my healthy and productive morning routine. I have never really made a video like this yet and I've been wanting to for quite a while so I am excited to share with you exactly how our mornings go down around here with the two little ones. So just starting our day off sometime between 6.30 and 7 as we normally do. I wake up to these two coming in bed and cuddling with me and we kind of take it slow and easy in the morning. I do pack a lot in but that very first bit I really like to just ease into the day. As you can see I do not always make sure that the kitchen is clean the night before so that we wake up to a clean one in the morning. It's often a mess when we come down here. Um, my husband is actually home on this day so I'm just showing that he has got his French press full of coffee there but I however do not drink coffee first thing in the morning. Every once once in a while I might, but for the most part, every single day, I start off with 32 ounces of water and I add lemon into that. And then I'll kind of show you the rest of my whole morning process as we go along. But we spent a good portion of the first moments of the day just greeting each other and of course lots of cuddles with the dogs and just kind of sit down and hang out on the couch for a bit and take it easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of show you all the things that I go through in the morning besides just the housework stuff. Because I know on this channel a lot of times I'm pretty much just sharing housework, although there is a lot of that in my morning routine. I wanted to show you some of the things that I kind of set myself up for success for the day in between all of the housework. So sitting down and taking a moment to drink this 32 ounces of lemon water is critical. I feel like just starting the day out very hydrated, making good choices, and it really has a snowball effect on the rest of the day. A lot of times the kids just jump in and start playing after we do all of our morning greeting, but sometimes they ask for a show and I don't really care either way. I'll let them watch a little TV. They don't have an issue with sitting there and watching TV for too long. They are very active children. So on this morning they wanted a show and about 20 minutes later they were done and then I just turned the TV off and I am going to go ahead and get all these dishes cleared off the counter that were left there the night before to dry overnight and start prepping for my celery juice. I buy the celery usually at Costco and it comes in a bag like this with the stalks already kind of trimmed but they do get really dry on the ends and I just want to kind of go through and cut off any bits that don't look real fresh and then I put it in a strainer and then rinse it before I juice it. I have been doing celery juice every single morning off and on for a few years now and I've had so many health benefits from doing this. I would love to share more about that someday but not in this video but this is the medical medium morning cleanse and if you would like to look that up you can find all kinds of information about that and different things that that can help and I try to stick to this every single morning give or take sometimes I'll just do part of it and once in a while I just like I said we'll go straight to coffee and I just feel like that does not set my day up very well and it's easier to make poor choices later in the day if you make poor choices in the morning but it took me a while to get into the habit of this and I am very grateful that I am now I pretty much don't even think about it I just get up and start doing it and it is a big part of my morning that is why I'm sharing so much of it in this video because I feel like it is a very important aspect to what I do so I get asked all the time how I have so much energy and I feel like taking care of my health and getting lots of fruits and vegetables in every single day is how I sustain at that level of energy and get so much done and it is a far more practical and sustainable amount of energy when it comes from plants and not caffeine. This is an Omega masticating juicer that I've got here, like a cold pressed juicer. I've had the centrifugal juicers before. I used one for 10 years before I upgraded to this one and I love it. However, I do highly recommend getting the medical medium model, the MM900 Omega juicer, because according to what everyone says, you get so much more juice out of it than this model. So I will definitely be upgrading eventually to that one. But for now, I'm just using what I've got and it works great. 
great. So this is, I aim for 32 ounces. Sometimes it comes out a bit less. These jars are 32 ounce jars that I got off of Amazon. And I also have the 16 ounce jars as well. And I love them. I use them for my whole morning routine. So now it's time to give the dogs their medication. As you know, if you've been with me for a bit, you know that Luna has seizures. She has epilepsy and we have to have her on a daily medication now after an episode we had on Christmas Eve that was quite scary. And then we've also been giving Jasmine an anti-inflammatory because she's got arthritis so that kind of helps with the pain. And then I'm showing you here, I got these pill treats at Costco. So you get 120 of these for a couple dollars less than this package that I got at Target. So the only difference is the greenies ones are a lot softer. The other ones are a little bit more firm, but they work great and it was a much better price for those other ones. So we'll be going with the ones from Costco. So now that the sun is up, I'm opening the blinds, letting some sunshine in and gonna sit down with the celery juice and go through my phone, either checking Instagram or responding to comments and just hang out here for a bit before I get started on everything I got going on this morning. At this point, the kids are hungry and wanting breakfast, and this varies a little bit day to day. Sometimes they wake up and want breakfast very first thing, and sometimes they'll push it back like an hour. So it just kind of depends. Whenever they start asking for it is when I get it ready. And I like to keep their breakfast very simple and very routine, so it's not something we're having to figure out every morning, and it's not a whole lot I gotta do in addition to all the other things that I'm doing with the juicing and the smoothies. And they actually do have a smoothie with me every single morning as well. And it definitely feels good knowing that they got all those fruits and vegetables packed in very first thing in the morning. And it takes a lot of the pressure off of the day on some days, you know, when they just don't eat ideally. So at this point, while they're eating their breakfast, I'm going to jump in on the dishes, breaking the juicer apart and getting that washed right away. And then I will often start unloading the dishwasher and get that loaded back up at this point. Or once in a while, like on this day, I'm going to end up going upstairs and getting dressed and ready and then coming back down and doing it. So even though I load and run the dishwasher in the evening and hand wash all the pots and pans, I still have dishes left in the sink every single morning, either what didn't fit in the dishwasher or what came in in the evening with midnight snacks. And then there's the breakfast dishes. And I just feel like at some point in the evening, I have to throw in the towel and just relax and not chase a perfectly clean kitchen to go to bed with because it's the only time I get to myself when the kids are sleeping and time with my husband. And also the time I grab to do things like this voiceover to work on these videos I post. So I just would rather not spend that time trying to chase a perfectly clean kitchen to wake up to in the morning. So got the juicer parts all washed. They're going to sit there and air dry. And now it is time to make my morning smoothie. So I love to pack it full of greens. So put a couple handfuls of some spinach in there and a handful of cilantro. This smoothie is inspired by the Medical Medium Heavy Metal Detox Smoothie, and that's real easy to look up and all the benefits that come with it, but I will keep it linked in the description box below for you. I do change it up just a bit, um, and I do this just about every single day. So just peeling a banana, a very large banana, I would normally put two in, but those ones were huge. And I also keep them peeled and ready and ripe in the freezer. And I know I've shared prepping that in videos before. And then I'm just going to peel these oranges and toss them whole right into the blender. And then time to add in some frozen fruit. I love to use a lot of mango and I buy this at Costco. And then you don't need to add any kind of ice to your smoothie because the fruit does the trick. And then a whole lot of wild blueberries. This is another key ingredient to the medical medium smoothie as well as all of these. So I've got spirulina, barley grass juice powder and dulse flakes. These also add to that detoxing ability that this smoothie can have. And I will keep these linked in the description box below if you're interested in getting any of this stuff ordered to make this smoothie. And for the liquid in my smoothies, I always love to use coconut water. I buy this at Costco or I'll just use regular drinking water. I do not 
want to ever add any kind of milks or anything like that in it i'd like to keep these very fat free and the coconut water is a good way to just add in some extra hydration with all those electrolytes and the minerals that it comes with at this point i was pouring the smoothie and realized that there was still some smoothie residue in the cup that it didn't come all the way clean so i went ahead and went and got a fresh cup and took care of that for the kids and got my jar all filled up and this is how i clean out the blender i just add some soapy hot water in there and run it for a little bit and then rinse it out clean and leave it there with the rest of the juice parts to dry and then it's about the 9 30 10 o'clock mark when we head upstairs and time to let jasper take his shower get myself a little pulled together i shower in the evening so i do not have to add that into my morning but i just brush my teeth put on a little bit of makeup throw on some clean clothes and get the kids ready and then i just go around and open up the blinds and get the bed made and tidy up the upstairs and do all those upstairs chores Jillian and Jackson, who are four and two, wake up at about 6.30 every single morning, which is far better than the 5 a.m. it was for quite a while. We have had the hatch lights in here and they're actually being very effective lately that they know to stay in bed when they are red and it is okay to wake when they turn green, which is at 6.30 and they are up pretty much as soon as that happens every single morning. And then they like to get up and play in their rooms for a little while. Of course, they come tell me good morning first and I know they're awake and I kind to keep an ear out for them but that gives me some time to like stretch and let my mind wake up before jumping right into mom duty while they play in their rooms and even though we clean up the rooms before they go to bed at night they are pretty messy again first thing in the morning from all the hard playing they do when they wake up so we have been incorporating it into our morning routine to tidy up the bedrooms when we get ready just to keep on top of it and jillian is very proud of how she organized her dolls in the little box and wanted to show me she is so sweet how much joy she gets out of the things that she does and how much of a helper she is. So now over to Jackson's room and he happened to pull down a basket of clean laundry I had setting up on the dresser to be folded later. So I had to pick all that up off the floor and he has accumulated quite a collection of little toys in here and we are going to be gearing up for a toy declutter very soon and of course I'll be sharing it with you all. I had asked in my last kitchen declutter video what you guys wanted to see me decluttering next and I got several responses for toys and clothes and those are the two things at the top of my list so I will definitely be jumping in on that with you all. If you are new to my channel, I am so glad you found me. My name is Melissa. I post a whole lot of cleaning motivation as well as decluttering and organizing and if you are into that type of content, I would love if you would subscribe so I can keep it coming for you and you can also come follow me over on Instagram at Intentful Spaces. I am sharing motivation over there as well and I keep the link right there in the description box so I'm really easy to find. So every morning around this time now I will do some sort of laundry that means throw in a load or pull something out of the dryer and get it folded or just fold whatever I already have piled up somewhere else. So today I need to get all the kids clothes folded and put away and as you see there's a ton of them here and they have outgrown quite a bit and I keep putting it off like I'm like going to get all their laundry washed and everything there so I can go through it all at once and figure out what doesn't fit them anymore and then I just keep keeps getting put off. So I really do need to just jump in and get that done already. I'll probably just end up including it in the spring cleaning I'm doing. Like I've said, I'm going to be doing a whole spring cleaning series through the month of February and I'm going to be doing all the things. So if you need some spring cleaning motivation, I'm your girl. Definitely be subscribed and put the bell notifications on so you know when I'm posting. I am aiming for Tuesdays and Fridays, but with the kids and everything on my plate, I just have to do the best I can at getting regular with that.
now I am back downstairs and going to be doing a real quick tidy in the living room. This is something I also do every evening, but then, you know, we relax on the couch in the evening and then just go to bed at some point and the couch is all disheveled. And then when we wake up in the morning, we're hanging out there and the kids usually have toys dumped out. So I just make a real quick tidy in the living room before we go on with our day. And then I'll be heading over to the kitchen to finish up all those dishes. I wanted to slow it down here to real time so that you could see the actual pace that we're going. I know when it's all sped up like this, it's looking like there's so much getting done so fast. And then when it goes to real time, it looks almost like it's in slow motion. Luna looks like she's running all over the place, but she really is just strolling around. So it's kind of funny how it looks like so much more commotion sometimes when it's sped up, but also how with editing it, it can actually end up looking a lot more calm than it actually is in real life. So just kind of depends on the moment. We definitely have our ups and downs. You may have noticed me examining the dishes to make sure they're clean before putting them away. We've been having issues with the dishwasher going through all its cycles again and I had just did a big deep clean on the dishwasher which I did not film. I ended up just kind of getting fed up with the dishes not coming out clean and then kind of pulled the whole thing apart in there and really cleaned it out and ran a couple loads with the actual dishwasher cleaning like detergent stuff that you can buy at Target. So it did help a bit, but I feel like back to what I was saying almost a year ago, I think we just need a new dishwasher. So I think we're gonna be doing that here in the next couple months. This is just not an area in my life I want extra stress about. I already have enough dishes on my plate as it is and I am not a fan of doing dishes and I'm definitely not a fan of battling my dishwasher. I actually do enjoy cleaning almost every other thing in the house. It's just the dishes and laundry that I really do struggle with. It's just so hard to keep up with. So now I'm going to go ahead and put away the bit of things we had still left out on the counters from Costco the day before. Um, there was a lot of produce and I wanted to get it washed before putting it away. So I ended up just leaving it there. Because, like I said before, at some point I've got to throw in the towel. I have to stop at some point. The work is never done. So now I'm just getting the kitchen sink all washed out so that I can soak the produce and get that all put away. I usually will spend a portion of my morning working on food in some way. So whether that's baking something like muffins or prepping things for dinner or trying new recipes or just getting all this produce washed and ready, I'm always trying to spend at least a little bit of time in the morning working on the food stuff because it does lighten the load at other points in the day that might be a little bit more busy. So just putting some of the Thieves Cleaner in the water and going to go ahead and fill this side of the sink up and just toss all that produce in there to sit and soak for a little bit and then I'll just give it a rinse and dry it and put it away. We do go through a lot of produce. We are primarily plant-based here. We do a little bit of dairy here and there, but other than that, it's just strictly plants and we go through a lot of them. I know I get a lot of comments and questions about the way we eat and I do try to incorporate stuff like this into the videos so that you can kind of see what is normal for us and maybe just kind of get you acclimated to seeing that kind of lifestyle. If you ever do have any questions about it, I am more than happy to answer them and point you in the direction of some resources. It is definitely a passion of mine.
always have some kind of work that needs to be done every day. So whether you're a stay at home mom or work from home mom, there's definitely always stuff that needs to get done. So I'm kind of going over like the bank budget and bills right now. And I also will use this time to like go over my to-do list for the day, make a meal plan, a grocery list. We had done Costco the day before, but I need to go to the regular grocery store to get the rest of the things. So we'll be heading out there soon. At this point, the kids are getting a little bit restless and impatient with me. So I feel like at that point, it's best to just kind of take a pause and give them the attention that they're needing. And then usually they'll kind of settle down and I can kind of slip back into what I'm working on. I did not include in this video like the few times I sat down and did play with them. So I did not just do all this work straight and just ignore them all morning. I forgot to even include that part in the video because a lot of times when I'm spending time with them, it's just screens are down and my time is with them. I think it is so important with so much going on in our lives as it is that screens are not interrupting the bit of time that I am sitting down and playing with them. But for now, as I'm working on all of this, we actually have the movie Encanto playing. That's why you see me kind of moving along to the music. Um, love the movie. It's so good. We've watched it like a dozen times already. I'm sure you all have watched it at least that much as well. So whether I'm working on like household stuff or working on channel stuff, I do spend a good part of my morning doing just this, sitting here with my computer and my notebooks. So I figured it was important to include that in this video of having a productive morning. So now I am finished up with that and it's time to get ready to head out to go to the store. I like to make sure that all of that housework stuff is done before we head out for the day so that I'm not coming home and having a whole bunch of other stuff to do. So I have a morning routine and an evening routine of keeping the house tidy and afloat. And right now we are just going to be getting our shoes on and getting my bag all packed up and ready to go. And then I will be bringing my own reusable grocery bags after decluttering that kitchen cabinet and all those plastic sacks coming out of there. I just need to get back into the habit of bringing bringing my own bags like I had done for over a decade before. As we are trying to get ready and head out the door, the We Don't Talk About Bruno song comes on and the kids are just getting a kick out of this song. So it kind of sucked us in and we are waiting a few more minutes for the song to finish so that we can head out and then we'll just continue the movie when we get home. I hope you have enjoyed this morning routine video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below if you like these routine videos. I will keep them coming. I want to do an evening routine sometime next week. So let me know if that's something you would look forward to. It is fun to change it up a little bit from just the cleaning and give you a little bit more of the in-between stuff as well. So that is it for this video. And as always, Thank you all so much for being here.